I hope everyone has them, has it with them. Um, we can start with first raising our Kundalini and taking a Bandhan. So we can do it together slowly. There's no hurry. Keeping attention to the Kundalini. And then on top of our head, making a knot. Then repeating it second time, making two knots. Third time, three knots. Now we can put the bandhan around us. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. We can also now vibrate our foot soak water. Just uh, moving our hand over the water for seven times or more, clockwise manner. And praying in our heart that it takes away all the heaviness all the imbalances from our subtle system. Put our feet. So now we can close our eyes. And first relax our body. Relaxing our hands, shoulders, neck area. Relaxing all the tension in the body. We can now first Observe our state, like on our hands, what do we feel? We can take few deep breaths. We can inhale. Hold our breath. And then exhale. We can do this few times. Hold the breath and then exhale. With every exhale, we can just relax even more. We can repeat this couple more times.
we can now put both our hands towards Mother Earth. And we can put attention on our Muladhara Chakra, which is the first chakra in our subtle system. And we also keep attention on the innocence of Mother Earth. Like how the nature is so innocent, giving. and stable. And here we can pray to Mother Kundalini. Mother, please take away all the imbalance in our Muladhara Chakra into the Mother Earth. We can now put the left hand on our lap and the right hand stays towards Mother Earth. We focus all our attention on the left hand. So on the left hand's palm. And we receive all the good vibrations from the left hand and it goes away from the right hand into the mother earth. So it is important that we put our attention on the left hand, receiving all the vibrations. And here we can ask Mother Kundalini, please Mother, balance our left channel all the heavy emotions, all the past that takes us away from the present. Please take them away. Mother, please take all the doubts and fear that we have and let us have faith in ourselves that we are the spirit and we are our own masters.
We can put the right hand on the left side of our neck. This is where our left Vishuddhi is. And here we say with full confidence that we are not guilty. Mother Kundalini, I am not guilty. I am not guilty at all. I am not guilty at all. Please give me strength to face myself and correct myself. And please give me self-respect. We can now put the right hand on the center Vishuddhi, on our throat chakra. And here we can say, I am an essential part of the whole. We can now put the right hand back to the left. We can now raise the left hand towards the sky and we focus our attention on the right hand. So now we receive all the good vibrations from the right hand. And all the imbalances of the right side goes into the ether. Mother Kundalini, please balance our right channel. Please take away all the ego. All the heat. All the anger. all the planning, all the worries and frustrations. 
please take them away into the ether. Please give me humility that I'm not greater than anyone and I do not know everything. Please humble me down. We can put the left hand on the lap. We can now focus on both our hands and feel that how our vibrations or our state has changed, how we are feeling. Now we can slowly bring our attention on top of our head. And if we still are getting any thoughts, try to witness them. Try to see, not get involved. And just say, I forgive.
We can now slowly open our eyes. We can rinse our feet and we can throw away the water and come back. I hope everyone is back. Okay. So today we have this theme called Eternal Bliss Out of Contentment in Sahaja Yoga. Um, so what does that mean? Um, so this is one thing that came to my mind this morning uh, when I was uh, preparing for this uh, meditation. And um, so the reason why we are in Sahaja Yoga is because that we want to 
feel that contentment. We want to feel that set, uh, that satisfaction within us. Um, and that satisfaction comes when we seek our pure desire. And when that gets fulfilled, that we want to know ourselves, that is the pure desire within us. It's the kundalini that gives that self-realization to us that, okay, we are the spirit. And slowly, slowly, when we meditate, we um, feel that satisfaction. And when you go ahead in this journey, in this beautiful journey, you slowly, slowly become more and more satisfied. Sometimes um, some of our impure desires can pull us and we might again get dissatisfied, but it's a journey. And again, we can go back uh, in our meditation practice and we can ask that, please give me more satisfaction so that I don't, I don't follow that unnecessary impure desire anymore. And that's a, that comes with time, but it comes. So, so this is the theme of today. And uh, we have prepared like a very beautiful speech by Sri Mataji. She explains what the contentment means. And uh, yeah, let's watch that together. But one has to know that <clears throat> only we are realized souls is not the point. Only that we can feel the vibrations is not the point. That we can give realizations to others is also not the point. Then what is it? Very important is the content within us. What do we have within us is the point. These are all the expressions of what we have within. Supposing somebody is generous, then know that he is a rich man, otherwise he cannot be. So the content within us, we have to see. And when we start seeing the content, where do we find in the nature there is real content? We say the sea. Sea is there, sea full of water. So much of water it sucks in from everywhere. And then it allows itself to be boiled by the sun and gives rain. But see, is the lowest level. Stands at the lowest level and sucks in all the water from everywhere. In the same way, a Sahaja must know that to be really Achieving more content, we have to be not at a higher level outside. It said in the Bible, you have to be meek. But I think it was not explained to people. Only the strong people can be meek. Secure people can be meek. Only the rich, in a sense, can be meek. Not the people who are insecure, because they are insecure, how can they be meek? And not the people we think are rich, so-called, because if they are rich, they are not generous, they are not satisfied, 
They are not philanthropic. So they are not rich. They are still greedy beggars. So the content within us is to be seen. What is our content? You love me, I love you. It's very good. But when you love me, you have to know that there are certain qualities which are very lovable in a surgery. Actually, people get lost even after surgery. They think they can get over everything, are perfectly all right, and they are thrown overboard. So when we say that we have to be meek, this is a content, the humility is a content. Try to do that. Try to be humble with someone. You like yourself. You will enjoy that quality within us, that, you see, I am humbler than another person. And what is another thing we find as content are the great mountains, because they have heights. And they are the only ones who can capture the clouds. So such a rapport there is between the humility of the ocean and the heights of the mountain. That's how a Sahaja Yogi should be. He is too high because so much of content is there in that ocean then it has become beautiful, like clouds. I touched his height, his kailasha, where he sights the Shiva. So it's so joy giving. Of course, as you have painted me there, it's true, that was my situation once upon a time. Today also it is my situation, no doubt, in a very subtle manner because there is so much of negativity and I have to work it out on all kinds of levels. There is no excuse for some human being to be a devil, no excuse. And for a Sahaja Yogi there is no excuse at all. But still, once I have called you my son, my child, there is a little blessing goes, I would say, long rope. But that long rope one should not care for. You have to care for your own quality, for your own inner capacity to suck in. Now look at the ocean as it is. All that is around falls into the ocean, everything. And then the sun, we can say that's the spirit, evaporates, only possible. In the ocean, it doesn't evaporate the river so much as it can because such a wide thing, such a deep thing, inexhaustible. And then absolutely pure material comes out of that. And that can go and touch the heart. Because as a search of yours, hearts are at a very high level where there is Shiva reciting. Nobody can reach there except for the purity. And unless and until you have that largeness, that depth, that humility and the maryadas. You know that 
sea never leaves its own maryadas. And if you press it from one end, it will express on one other side. It never leaves. If Pacific Ocean was even 100 feet deeper, there would have been a problem. So even in depth, in its height, in its spreading, it has its own maryadas. But in that maryada, he has a feeling that he is one with the nature, one with mother. He is not disturbing the mother earth, nicely placed in the body of mother earth. Nature is bound by the divine. The divine looks after the nature, so everything works out beautifully and you have freedom. And after Sahaja Yoga, you have greater freedom. <coughs> Absolute freedom because you can not be bowed by anything nonsensical, anything sinful, anything base. You are above that like a mountain. And so wherever there is a combination of a mountain and an ocean, the ships can come. Deep people can only come to such shores where there is depth. That's how you achieve your depth between your heart and your Bhavasagara. That beautiful area where people can come to you and just they know this is something great. Everybody knows that. You have seen that I'm like any other woman to look at, I don't know. You might think I'm different, but normally. But how many people come to my program? How do they come to my program? Just think. In Colombia, when nobody had even heard my name, came, I mean, very surprising. And people had no place to sit. In Russia, where, I mean, no question of why they knowing my name, there are no books published, nothing. So, you can say that, Mother, you manipulate it through the collective unconscious. I do not, but it does. I think so. So when the Sahaja Yogis have that content within themselves, the collective unconscious, the divine, will act, definitely act. Like a person who is spreading advertisements, this, that, yes, people come because he takes money. They are thinking they can purchase this back. But where there's no money involved, no business involved, nothing, you people are just simple people, just like them, so. But it's all done by the Divine, isn't it? So the Divine works it out. It's very beautiful how Sri Mataji says that divine works out everything. And I think that's how we have all come to Sahaja Yoga, that it was all nicely planned and we came here. So now we can start a little meditation and try to go much more deeper. So we can now close our eyes. And we can gently keep our hands on our lap. Slowly and slowly going deeper within ourselves.
and just try to remember why are you in Sahaja Yoga? We can keep the right hand on our left side of Swadhisthana. And here we can ask Mother Kundalini that Mother, please give me pure desire, that great desire that gave me self-realization. that worked out everything for me and started this beautiful spiritual journey. Please give me pure knowledge, the spirit. Now we can move our right hand on our stomach in the center. Mother Kundalini, please give me complete satisfaction. Satisfaction of the spirit. Please let me seek within myself. And not run after anything that is unnecessary. Whatever is needed in my life will be there. I don't have to worry. We can now put the right hand on our void, center void, which is between the stomach and the chest. And here we ask Mother Kundalini, please make me my own master. With a very sincere heart. Please, Mother, make me my own master.
please give me innocence, which is desireless and thoughtless. We can now keep the right hand on the left heart. And we keep our full attention on the spirit which resides in our heart. Mother, I'm not this body, I'm not this mind. I'm not the past, not the future. I'm not this ego or super ego. I'm not the doubts, not the fear. I am the spirit. The more sincerely we keep attention on the spirit, the more it works out. Mother Kundalini, I am pure technique that acts. Please purify our hearts so that we can see ourselves more clearly. We can now keep the right hand on our forehead. And here with all our love, we can forgive everyone. Mother Kundalini, I forgive everyone and I forgive myself. I forgive the whole world. If I have done anything wrong against my spirit, please forgive me. We can now keep the right hand on top of our head. We can push on top of our head with our right hand and we can move the skin clockwise.
Thank you, Mother Kundalini, for giving us self-realization. Please make our self-realization stronger. We can now raise the right hand few centimeters above our head and we can feel our Kundalini. We can put the right hand back to the lap and we can meditate just for a few minutes, keeping our attention on top of our head.
we can open our eyes. We can open our eyes and we can do the same exercise that we did in the beginning, that we can also feel how we are feeling in our hands and in ourselves, how the state of our subtle system has changed from beginning to now the end of the session. Now we can raise our Kundalini and take a bandhan. Thank you everyone for joining today and I wish you all have a great Sunday. Thank you, Ila. Thank, thank you, Ila. Thank you. Ila, thank you. That was so beautiful, really. Thank you so much. And Rahul thank and you. everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Mati. Thank you so much. Have a beautiful Sunday. God bless. Thank you. Nice to see your smile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> yes. Bye. Bye-bye. And yes, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you so much. It was beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. So much, you. Thank you. you. I'm good. How are you, Samir? There is some echo. In your side. Yeah, thank you for this beautiful meditation session. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you. Uh, may I ask a, a small question if you can uh, explain me? Yes. Uh, can you tell me more about Meek? Meek? Ah. It was a very new word for me as well. <laughs> meek. Uh, but I think it comes from... Um, uh, one of the biblic um, context. Um, it's. I think Shri Mataji explained it much better than I could. Uh, it was about the humility that you have within yourself. And uh, people uh, think that meekness is weakness, but uh, it is actually a strength that uh, you are humble person, you are content person, and you're not a cunning person, uh, more loving as more loving person as well. So um, I, in my head, that is meekness. But if anyone knows better English than me, please uh, go ahead and explain the word. <laughs> okay, so there is quiet, gentle, and easily imposed uh, submissive. I just Google it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, yes. How are you? 